How to crochet popcorn stitch. To follow along with this video, make one row of 14 treble crochet stitches. Start your next row with chain 3. This counts as your first treble crochet stitch. Then work a regular treble crochet stitch into the next stitch. Now we're going to make our first popcorn stitch. In the next stitch along, work 5 treble crochet stitches in the same stitch. Once you've completed your fifth treble crochet stitch, carefully remove the hook from the working loop. Insert the hook into the top of the first treble you made in this group of five trebles. Make sure you insert the hook into the loop going from front to back. Then insert the hook back into the working loop and pull the working loop through the top of the first stitch. Finish the popcorn stitch by making a chain one. This will form the top of the stitch that you'll work into on the next row. Space out your popcorn stitches by working a treble crochet stitch into each of the next two stitches. Let's try that again. Make five treble crochet stitches into the next stitch. Carefully remove your hook. Insert your hook into the first of your five treble stitches, going from front to back. Insert the hook back into the working loop and pull the loop through your first stitch. Don't forget to finish with a chain one as this is very important for your next row. Like before, we'll space it out by doing a regular treble crochet stitch in the next two stitches. Now just repeat, making a popcorn stitch followed by two treble crochet stitches along the row. When you get to the end of the row, remember that the turning chain of the previous row counts as a stitch, so your final stitch will go into the top of the turning chain. That's our first row of popcorn stitches completed on the right side of the work. Now we're going to turn and do the next row. This time we're working on the wrong side, so our popcorn stitches will need to be reversed. Start the row with chain three as usual and work a treble crochet in the next stitch. Now we'll make our wrong side popcorn stitch. Remember that we said that our chain one after the popcorn stitch was important? That's because this chain will count as your next stitch. So insert your hook under the top two loops of the chain stitch. And as before, make five treble crochet stitches in this stitch.
carefully remove your hook from the work. Now here's the difference. Because we want the popcorn stitch to face the other way, we're going to insert our hook into the first of our five stitches going from the back to the front. Then as before, insert the hook into the working loop and pull through the first stitch. Don't forget to finish your popcorn stitch with a chain one. You should be able to see that this wrong side popcorn stitch faces in the same direction as your first row of right side popcorn stitches. Because we worked into the chain stitch for our popcorn stitch, you need to remember to skip the next popcorn stitch loop, which will probably be quite small and tight anyway. Then work your two normal treble crochet stitches into the next two stitches. Let's try that one more time. Insert your hook into the next stitch. Remember that this is the top two loops of your chain one. Make five treble crochet stitches into this stitch. Carefully remove your hook. Insert your hook into the first of your five stitches, going from the back to the front. Insert the hook into your working loop, then pull that loop through your first stitch. Don't forget to chain one. And don't forget to skip the next popcorn stitch loop. Then just treble crochet into each of the next two stitches. Now you can just repeat that along for the rest of the row working a popcorn stitch in the next stitch, followed by two regular treble crochet stitches. And that's how you crochet popcorn stitch.